All I ask is a tall ship and a star to sailor by. All I ask is a tall ship and a star to sailor by. All I ask is a tall ship and a star to sailor by. <laughs> is that enough? <laughs> can I keep this because this is written by Richard? I can frame this, can I? Yeah, that's how we all begin. <laughs> Hello, princess. This train is for Stratford International. The next stop is West Silvertown. Your name's Donna. Chrissy. Oh, but you're not the mother. No, I told you already, I'm a friend. Well, Chrissy, without a detailed description of the assailants, uh, we can't move on to stage two. But I thought you said you already know who they are. We can't level charges without evidence. Look, do you think she needs to see a counsellor? Look, Melissa, do you want to see a counsellor? Madison, her name's Madison. Brilliant. Well, if she changes her mind, use the CR number. Look, what? it's on the back. Case reference number. Look, you're looking tired. Do you think you need to get some sleep? So who needs to sleep. Night. Thank you. 
anahtarı vereceğim size. What do you feel, darling? Nothing. Hello, Eric. It's Chrissy. Christ, Chrissy. It's been a long time. Look, you might want to sit down for this, Eric. I need you. Well, we need you. It's your daughter. How's it going? Good. Fishing good? Listen, I've been looking for you all morning. <laughs> I need a favour. I've got a problem. I have to get to France, Calais if possible, really quickly. No problem. Yeah? I'll make it worth your while, don't worry. You take care. Thank you. Judgmental Madison, my task is to help you choose a course of action. Do you have any questions before we begin? Yeah. Have you ever been raped? I understand your anger, Madison. To you, rape's a word. Round dear, it's a sport. That's as maybe, but... They really swap videos all over London. The dirtier, the better. Have you seen Madison, any? Madison, my department isn't responsible for... Of course this. not! Heaven forbid anyone's responsible. No one's ever responsible for anything, ever. You people, you're all the same. All you do is talk, 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 but you never actually say anything.
Eric Williams. Dave Allen, Ronnie sent to pick you up. Hello Dave. How's the luxury villa treating you? Great. Only two lap dances that time. Very good. Ronnie's put a hotel room for you. Good to see you. When did you get in? Is Ronnie with you? <laughs> All in good time. Have I got enough for a gin and tonic in here? <laughs> Five years on the run. Ended up in Algiers. Got 18 years in an African jail. Not good. Got released. Made my way to Turkey. Got to see Ronnie Taylor. Stayed in his villa. Get a phone call from you. Made my way to Calais. Jumped in a helicopter. Arrived in England. Last place on earth I want to be. No, don't do anything stupid. I am going to do something really sensible. Been away a long time, Eric. Things are different now. Yeah, I say they're different. There's drugs in schools, knives in the streets, shootings and rapes all the time. And these kids that did this? Four of them. Three boys and a girl. The girl took photos, laughed her socks off, and the boy as well. How the fuck did she end up in a shithole like this? I've done my best by that girl, and I've done it for you, Eric. It's complicated. So uncomplicated, Chrissy. Well, at first I told you you were away on business. On business? Yeah. yeah. And what does she believe now? You rejected her. There's something else, Eric. Her grandfather. <laughs> her name's Ruby. She's three. Grandfather? Yeah. <laughs> you missed a lot of joy and you missed a lot of sadness. There you are, working on your tan in Turkey. It's not like that, Chrissy. It's exactly like that. You shot David Anderson dead, saving Ronnie's dad. Look where it got you. 27 years ago, you sneaked back here, trying to make things right. And even in the midst of all that, you couldn't keep it in your trousers, could you? And I'm left to bring up your mistake. Look, I don't mean that. You know, Mad is incredible. She grew up good and strong. Be under no illusions, Eric. She did it without you. Oh, Ronnie's looked out for her. He knows he owes you because of his dad. But everything you touch, Eric. Get it right, you! Out! Now! Both of you! Oh, well, you'll do what? Oh, go. You've got two options, boy. You either get out now, or I'll call the old Bill. <sighs> you wouldn't dare. Do you know who we are? There's always a third option, lads. I'm sure you two don't want to go there, right? Here, Reg, just, just leave it, yeah? Yeah. All right, Dave. We want to drink in a shit hole like this anyway. Oh, 
It's you. No? Why? Where? Where is he? No! I've got nothing to say to him. What? I'm being unfair, am I? I've got it all wrong, have I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, remember? On the run for murder, and he got banged up abroad for another cock-up. Completely innocent, of course. Ends up in a jail, God knows where. Yeah, he's really a hero. He deserves a Nobel Prize. <sighs> no, Chrissy. You tell him to leave me alone. Thanks, mate. How much? 35, please, sir. How much? 35. You won't get anybody else to come down here. 35, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good day. Are you up, darling? Excuse me, love. Do you know the young lady that lives here? Hey? Hello? Thanks, Eric. You're looking yeah. good. Yeah, you too. So, how's the kids? They're good. They're all grown up and off in the world now. I heard about prison. It's a long stretch. Hope it was worth it. Uh, it's never worth it, Danny. We shouldn't even be having this conversation. If they found out, we Danny, knew that please, I was talking. please. Don't go on about regulations. Because when I was in the force... Yeah, but you're not no, anymore. But if I was... Yeah, but if you was, what? Your daughter was out late at night, walking on her own, on a council estate notorious for its crime rate. She was attacked. She claimed she was raped. There's no evidence. She refused to give them any forensic evidence. So as far as they're concerned, this is a no crime. This is just another common assault. They cautioned the gentleman held in custody and they released him. They cautioned the gentleman and they released him. Do you know what those bastards did? They raped my daughter. I'm just the messenger, Eric. the other three, the ones that you haven't identified. This is not a priority case. As I said, on record, this is just another common assault for which one of the attackers has been cautioned. Didn't they ask the boy who his friends were? They interviewed him. Of course they fucking asked him. And? And he refused to tell them. So they released him? Well, they can't make him tell them. He would have told me. Yeah, well, in our day, things were done very, very differently. I'm sorry I can't do more. I can't do anything. But, um... But, well... Rumour has it Ronnie Taylor still owes you. Good old Ronnie. Eric, 
clonk your arse down, do you know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Good. And you look like you've done well for yourself. I'm sorry about Madison. Yeah, me too. And you've been looking out for her. I appreciate it, thank you. I've always paid my debts. Hey, come on. I used to work for your old man, it wasn't a debt. Yeah, well, my old man was proper. Yes, he was proper. And you know something? These scum wouldn't know the meaning of the word. You know, it wasn't just boys, really. There was a girl there. And you know what she was doing? She was videoing it on one of those camera phones they have today. And all the way through it, she was laughing. And while the boys, they were... So what can I do for you? Well, it happened on your manor. I thought you might know who they are. My manor? Do yeah. you think I am some kind of fucking gangster? Ronald, we both know what you are, don't we? I think his name's Toby Paul. He raped her, the others, they just beat her up. Toby Paul. And the girl? Jay Castle, gobby little slut. And you let these scum run around on your estate? Can I give you a word of advice? Yeah. As a friend? Cool. I don't think you quite understand what these kids are capable of these days. They all carry knives. They'll stab each other over a pair of trainers or a dinner money in the playground. That's if you can get the fuckers into school. You know something? The Ronnie I used to know wouldn't be scared of a few hoodies. Things have changed, Eric. You know something? I keep hearing that wherever I go. Things have changed, Eric. I'm getting sick to the back teeth here in Emory. The kids run the estates these days. There's nothing me or the police can do about it. They're unstoppable. All we can do is sit back and watch. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm going to hurt them badly. Watch your back. You're still wanted for the David Anderson killing. But you know, and I know, it was self-defense. You know that, I know that, but they don't. And it's not just the old bill you've got to look for over your shoulder. There's plenty of the old firm still kicking around. Like I said, I'm going to hurt them. Is you a pedo? Of course he is. What's he hanging around Kelly's playground for, innit? You better not be looking at my girl, old man. Your girl? She's all of ours, mate. She's our bitch, innit? I'm looking for someone called Toby Paul. That's me. What do you want, Grandad? Is this what you want? Yours for 50 quid, if you can get it up. I want to talk to you about my daughter. What are you talking about, old timer? We don't know your skank daughter. Yes, you do. Her name's Madison. <laughs> yeah, I know her. Sexy little thing, little yummy mummy, innit? I stuck it to her good. Yeah, she fucking loved it, little horny bitch. You hold your filthy fucking mouth, yeah? Or well, fucking what, Grandad? Or I'll rip your fucking throat. Fucking dry it, mate! I know exactly what you're coming for, cunt. <laughs> He was gonna tell me some sob story about us supposed to rape your daughter, innit? He never fucking raped her, she was gagging for it, bro. See the way that skep was always looking at him? She wanted him inside her, innit? I raped her. <laughs> she was fucking loving every minute of it. I bet she dreams about me. She was wet for me. Slipped inside her pussy well easy. I bet you were jealous. You what? You're the sick one hanging around the playground. And you know what? Rumour has it used to be some kind of hero around here. There's nothing you can do about it, Grandad. Not a single fucking thing. Now look at you. You're knackered. 
You is well and truly blunted. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Next time I see you, you're dead. And next time I see that skank of a daughter of yours, I stick it up her ass. Let's get you little fucks. Oh. You're right, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright, Lottie. You know, they attacked my daughter. What's happened to this country, eh? How the hell did it get like this, eh? I don't know. It has to be the parents' fault. They're animals, all of them. It's not that simple, love, it's not. When I grew up, it was a rough area. It wasn't any different, it never has been. You find that, don't you? People say it a lot. Never any violence in our day. Of course, the bloody was. The Crays, the Richardsons. We had it all. So you're not going to sit there and tell me that you've never had an iron like this back then. I'm surprised they didn't break your rose-tinted glasses. Mind you, I must admit, it's worse now, mind. You see, back then, if you leave your door open, there were models, codes, rules, respect. There was respect. What have we got now? Nothing. No respect. No hope. Just fear. The whole country living in a state of fear. They blame the parents. They don't know what it's like. They think you're afraid of them out there in the street. Do you think your daughter wasn't afraid of them? Do you think Mrs H at number seven isn't scared of them? I was having to cross over the other side of the street, afraid to come out of your own home after dark. You want to try living on this side of the door? And that person's your son. And that person's your son. And you've done everything in your power, everything to stop him, to control him. Brought him down here to escape his dad. I used to be strong. And then my George hit me one day, a week after I came out of hospital from having our boy. That's it, never again. And I took my boy, our boy, my beautiful baby boy. And I got on the first train to anywhere, and I've been here ever since. And I swear to Almighty God, I love that boy. I did. And he grew up. And then he grew up and got him with the wrong crowd. Maybe I was too kind. Maybe I had your rose tinted glasses on. Maybe. And the kids fell in with him. Maybe he was the bad egg all along. But I couldn't see it. Because I loved him. It was my boy. My beautiful baby boy. And I, I tried to control him. I tried to stop him. I tried to keep him indoors. I tried to make him go to school. I tried to make him eat his tea, do as he's told. But it was hopeless. So you try living on this side of the door because it's no different from the outside. Don't blame the parents. It's not their fault. I know the difference between right and wrong. 
That's why when I looked out of the window that night, I just saw them attacking him. I found the old bed layer too. But he got off with it as usual. I thought if all else fails, they'll knock some sense into him. But he was out within 24 hours. That door, that bloody door. I could tell. He saw it in my eyes. <laughs> and that he. <laughs> you know. some clarification. However, that does bring us to our next topic of conversation, the growing pandemic that is knife crime. Over 15,000 reported incidents in the capital of Poland this year. I thought it was all over. But it ain't. I've been too scared to go outside. This is what came from the letterbox earlier. Skank bitch, we're gonna right. I'm taking this to the police. No, Chrissy, don't. If we do nothing, they'll win. They will anyway. They beat up an old man out there today. It was horrible. Look, my dear, I wish you'd do something for me. Your dad. Don't you? start that again. He's come a long way. He'll have to go back again, won't he? Don't you want to talk to him? Well, he never talked to me. Well, if you won't do it for him, will you do it for me? I suppose that's the least I deserve, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to say. You're supposed to be my dad. How could you do this to me? What do you want? Details? They don't seem important now. Postcard would have been nice. Or a phone call. I was on the run. I couldn't risk it. So why were you in a foreign jail? Because... Because 
I stole something from the wrong kind of people. I got 18 years, I served every single day of it. It wasn't nice. I'm your daughter. You couldn't risk contacting your own daughter. Why? You've no idea what it was like to be me growing up. You broke my heart. Do you know what it's like growing up without parents? How the other kids would look at you in the playground. The bullying, the teasing, the loneliness. And even then, I used to think about how awful it must have been for you when Chrissy would tell me the stories. How sad and lonely you must have felt. Didn't you want me with you? What kind of life would that have been for a child? A life with a father. You know, it wasn't your decision to make. For Christ's sake, you were a baby. Well, you could have let me know after a couple of years that you were OK. No. That's just where you came from. Look, after being on the run for five years, I came back to try and sort things out, make things right. But I failed miserably. I couldn't do it. And just before I went back, I went to this nightclub. I met this lovely lady, Ruby, your mum. And who knows what it might have been like if I hadn't been on the run. We might have... Anyway, you've got to understand. Madison, it was just a one-night stand. There was no romance in it, nothing romantic about it. But I am here now, all right? Why? Because I thought you needed me, that's why. So in order to see you, to meet my dad, I have to get raped. And that's why I'm here. And what do you think I'm supposed to do? Throw a welcome home party? I'm so, so angry, I'm so angry with you. You're a coward. You didn't get in touch because you couldn't stand the thought that I might not need you. When Mum died, I was only five. And where were you then? I don't need you. Um, um, your mum, uh, uh, how did your mum, I mean, was she ill? She slashed her wrists in the bath. I'm so sorry. And what would you care? You know, she was just some one night stand. It wasn't like that, I promise you. You've got to answer for the things you've done. You know, you've made me suffer. You made a fool out of me. And I've wasted all this love on you. And you're back five minutes and you've already made things worse. After what they did, they want to do it again now. Punishment, because you interfered, just like Chrissy said you always did. 27 years you've missed. And instead of just coming back and being here for me, you know, being a dad, if you knew how, you have to come back and try and be the hero, you know, going around beating everyone up. Well, this isn't the 70s anymore. People like that, they'll just stop. They won't just run away and hide just because they've done wrong. They'll keep coming back and back until they've finished you off. I don't have a life now. They've taken that from me. You don't know what it was like coming back feeling dirty disgusting, dead, looking at my own daughter and not being able to pick her up. I hate myself for what happened. Why? Why couldn't you just come back and put your arms around me and tell me that everything was going to be OK? You know, tell me that you were sorry and that everything was going to be all right. But no, you've just gone and made things worse as usual. Can't you take a hint? Why are you still standing here? I don't want you. I don't need you. And you're having nothing to do with me, so just leave me alone. Madison, I'm sorry. Look, it's too late. Do you know how hard it was for me to come here and meet you? No, I still came, though. I wanted to give you a chance. Why'd you do it? Why'd you have to interfere and pick a fight with them? Because I care. Madison, I really care. 
I've never loved anyone like I, 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 I love you. I bring out the worst in you. No, you don't. And what kind of love is that? No, you don't know the meaning of the word. Those boys are coming after me again. And it's all your fault. <laughs> They're all right about you. Everyone. Listen, please. Just go. I don't need you. Hello, Toby. Remember me? Your mates about? No. no? I didn't think they fucking were. <laughs> Just send you a name, I piece of shit. My name's Eric Williams. My daughter's Madison Williams. What's her name? What's her name, cunt? Madison Williams. Madison Williams. Yeah. If you ever see her in the street, you just fucking cross over and walk down another street, right? You do yourself a favour. Otherwise, I'll be coming looking for you again. <laughs> you slimy piece of fucking shit. Where are you? <laughs> hey, what are you? What are you? Say it! Yes. You know something? You're dead. I'm not going to kill you now, but I will do. I promise you, you're dead. Too many fucking times. We're gonna finish you this time. You never change. It's fresh all this morning. You owe me 130 quid. What? What for? Congestion charge. You didn't pay it on the Jag the other day, did you? Congestion what? Don't ask. I'll take care of it, as usual. Right. Look, Chrissy, um... What's that? I wrote this 27 years ago. I'd like you to give it to her when the time is right. How will I know when the time is right? It's not sealed. Read it. You'll know when. OK. That's just it, you're not anymore. Why don't you just stop putting on a front? I've watched you go from a tearaway boy to a respected member of the law, alcoholic husband to a runaway father in the state of you now. Well, and I made such an effort today. Can't even admit you're sorry. Because I'm not sorry. Look. I've made my bed. I made it 32 years ago when I went to work for Ronnie's dad. 
now I realise I've got to lie in it. Okay? What makes you do the things you do? Because I can. Problem is, you don't love anyone more than you love yourself. It was her that was raped, Eric, not you. And it was awful. Terrifying, undignified, soul-destroying. Now, well, your own daughter, she doesn't even want to know you. You can't give up. This is one thing you do have to fight. Just go and see her. Get down on your knees if this still work and beg for her forgiveness. Do it. Listen to me for once. Do you know what you are right now? Pathetic. If that's how you feel, why'd you bother to call me in Turkey? I don't know. Chrissy, she's coped without me. She'll carry on. Yeah, she will. But will you? Thirty-two years and everyone that went by, I wish you'd never come back. I didn't want you to come back here, find there was nothing for you, even before Madison. You don't belong here. She doesn't need Eric Williams running in, all guns blazing. She needs her dad. But you can only see one way to fix everything. Well, you're just going to have to find another way. The right way. The proper way. of June 1985. Nobody ever makes a clean getaway princess. I've led a dirty, filthy life, but to me, it's normal. I've gotten used to it. It was the ordinary to me. I don't know if I could do anything else. My life is full of regret, when once it was full of hope. I was young once, now you are. My daughter. <laughs> I never thought I'd have someone I could call that. up everything I've ever done, every single thing in my life, except you. Oh, my God. And I'm not going to be able to be there for you, but you're going to grow up good. You'll understand life and take it on without hesitation, without arrogance, without my ego. You'll understand and learn that nothing will ever beat you. Nothing will ever be as savage as life. And every time it'll hit you, well, your mum will be there for you and she'll watch you get right back up there. Every time. I can only dream of being there for everything. I mean, your first birthday. Your first day at school. 
Waking up and having you come in and jump on the bed demanding breakfast, first boyfriends. Being there for the birth of my grandchildren. <laughs> Even being there for the birth of you. Hearing that first cry. It's the one thing that will get me through my remaining years. Fierce pride that, in a small way albeit, I'd contributed to you coming into the world. I love you. Master bedroom clear. There's no one here, Gov. We're moving out. It's not safe. I repeat, the house is clear. We're moving out. Follow me. Stay close. <laughs> Backed up all the way from Dartford Tunnel. Following early reports of that congestion, Silvertown Way in Canning Town is blocked in both directions due to smoke reducing visibility from a house fire nearby Britannia Village. Firefighters are on the scene and have now managed to extinguish the blaze. Thankfully, They've also confirmed there were no fatalities and the young woman and child have been taken to hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation and minor injuries. On the A13, a manic collision between two vehicles has caused a slight congestion in two ways. Eric, we've got about ten minutes before the police get here, but we've got our car sorted to take you to Ronnie's. Come on, Just please. give me a minute, will you please? Just a minute. We've got about thirty seconds. Right. I do love you. The pair of you so much, so very much. You, you could have lost me, my darling. You could have lost me, the one person that's made me happier than anyone. That's me, princess. No, it's not. I don't know much, but I know that for certain. I told you they'd come back. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't want you. Nobody wants you. You don't belong here.
You know, all he's ever done, whether here or there, is love you. He saved your life tonight. Chrissy, get him back. Please, please get him back. Oh, come on, darling. He has to run. I, I didn't he mean it. To. Please, just, just get him back. I want my dad. Please. You still don't get it, do you? Look at it. There's nothing anyone can do about it. They've won. Sorry, state of affairs, I know, but that's it. It's all gone. Gone to the dogs. And we're powerless. And those scumbags, well, they've won. All those values. All that respect, all that hard work. What did it all count for in the end? Nothing. One for the road. Eh? Hey? Drink. Ronnie, forget the drinks. You better come here a second. Do you want to tell me what the fuck's going on? Like I said, things have changed. Tell me what's going on. They're my runners. Runners? They run gear for me on the estate. You mean those low-life fuckers work for you? Look, I can turn a blind eye to them knocking about with a few bits of fluff. The rewards speak for themselves. Got you out of prison. Pays for this. All this. Built on fear. And Madison? What about her? She'll get over it. Best thing that could have happened to her. Life shocks, they call them. Bit of character building. You dirty <laughs> stink! Low life! Taste dog shit. I should kill you. Go on, do it. You be doing me a favour. Brain tumor. Six months max. You're not worth it. You're worse than them, do you know that? You're dead to me anyway. You don't fucking exist anymore. You just 
don't exist anymore. <laughs> You weren't fucking listening to me, were you? You fuck off home, you gobby little tramp. Fuck you, Grandad. Fuck off now. Well, will fuck off one day. We'll teach us through the lesson, innit? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take that fucking knife off you and stick it so far up your fucking. <laughs> Sad and shocking. What a week it's been now. Police haven't yet named him, nor have they confirmed whether he was indeed the perpetrator of that attack. But there are a team of officers currently searching the area for the victim of the stabbing who reportedly left a trail of blood at the scene, but a body is yet to be found. If you've noticed the increased police presence out there tonight, stay safe. Actually, it's because of several sightings of a fugitive. Eric Williams, 78, is wanted in connection with the killing of gangster David Anderson in 1982. For those of you old enough to remember, that was one of the UK's biggest cases in that year. Williams, born in Forest Gate, was last seen in 1985 and has managed to evade law enforcement since. If you're able to make it onto our website, you'll be able to see a sketch room where they've released the number that's gone back and have any information. Danny. Good to hear you made it okay. I'm glad I could be of service. Look, it's about Ronnie. He's not sick, Eric. I need your help. I need your help to get him to get vengeance. Mm -hmm. 